A Florida man was arrested for a DUI on his wedding day. A Florida man stole a pickup truck, crashed it, and then pretended to grill on a stranger's porch. A naked Boston woman drove a golf cart through a Florida police standoff. And a Florida man stole a miniature goat and got it drunk. These are the weird stories for Friday on Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian in Los Angeles. I'm Jonesy. Today's Friday, so all of, all of the... All of, all la 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 Florida! Those bizarre stories you hear about all the time that seem to only happen here in Florida. I know, right? can't make this stuff up. It is just one of the many wacky news stories out of Florida. And why does the Sunshine State consistently produce such strange news? But what accounts for all this bizarre news? Is it the weather? Is it the people? Florida is full of the crazy stories. A feisty Florida man is arrested for a DUI on his wedding day. A Florida man is pictured here scuffling with the police as they try to take his mugshot following his arrest on suspicion of DUI on his wedding day. I'm looking at the photo. It doesn't look like it's his wedding day. He's not wearing a shirt. (laughs) He's really not pleased to be getting his photo taken. He's like, I've been having my picture taken all day. We hired a photographer for the wedding. I'm tired of getting my photo taken, all right? We got plenty of photos from earlier today. You don't need to take my photo now. This feisty Floridian's name is Nicholas Ruthenberg. Um, The groom is age 25. He was taken into custody after driving the wrong way down a street and crashing into another vehicle on Monday afternoon. First of all, why are you getting married on a Monday afternoon? This is is already suspicious. I'm guessing this wedding isn't very special to Nicholas. (laughs) Obviously, he left early (laughs) and then drove the wrong way down a street. Nicholas fled from the scene on foot, but was soon apprehended by the authorities. The driver of the other vehicle was unfortunately taken to the hospital with some injuries. It doesn't indicate if uh, the other driver was part of the wedding party or uh, an ex of the bride. Uh, The police soon learned that Nicholas had gotten married just hours before the car crash. They figured that he may have been drunk. Uh, Nicholas is a registered Democrat. And he was reportedly, for some reason, yelling, all hail Donald Trump, as he arrived at the sheriff's office and refused to pose for his mugshot. (laughs) The photos taken from inside the jail show handlers struggling to get Nicholas to hold still for the camera. (laughs) Some funny pictures of this. Just people trying to direct his head toward the camera. A bunch of hands with gloves on his face. He's got no shirt. Man, he looks out of it. You should Google this. He looks very not, not pleased. It doesn't look like a man who just got married, I'll tell you that. It looks like someone who just got married and then realized it was a mistake to get married and tried to flee the scene. A little too late, Nicholas. Nicholas mysteriously returned a blood alcohol level reading of 0.0. The police found this very peculiar <laughs> because it's your wedding day. You should at least have a 1.0 on your wedding day. They subsequently asked him for a urine sample to determine the presence of chemical or controlled substances. At that point, Nicholas started to take his pants off and spread his buttocks. <laughs> oh, you want me to pee in a cup? No, no, you're going to see my butthole. That's what you're going to do. This is my wedding day. Somebody better make love to me. I'm ready. <laughs> Anyone want to consummate this marriage right here in the cell? Now, uh, after spreading his butt cheeks, it says Nicholas placed two fingers into his own anus before... <laughs> before the cops quickly put him in handcuffs once again. Ah, he was just feeling himself today. An investigator concluded that Nicholas's erratic behavior was consistent, quote, with someone under the influence of some kind of stimulant. Uh, way to go, super detective. Where'd you get that? Where's your education? Where'd you get that? I, I think he's under some kind of stimulant. I don't know, spreading his butt cheeks, can't hold still, shirt's off. Putting fingers in his butthole. Ew. <laughs> hey, he's just enjoying his wedding day, after all. I want to know where the bride is during all of this. She's just like, where's my husband? He was here a minute ago. <laughs> this is our special day. We're about to cut the cake. Where's Nicholas? We're supposed to cut the cake. <laughs> he and his bride, it says here, tied the knot at the beautiful Indian River County Courthouse in Vero Beach, Florida. Coincidentally, this is the same courthouse that Nicholas is going to have to return for his arraignment. (laughs) 
There's a typical Florida wedding for you. A Florida man stole a pickup truck, crashed it, and then pretended to grill on a stranger's porch. A Florida man was arrested after stealing 60 sets of keys from an auto dealership. He chose to drive off in a 2005 GMC Sierra pickup truck. Now you have 60 sets of keys, sir, and this is the vehicle you chose, a 2005 pickup truck? You could have drove off in something much more classier than this. Come on, man, this is your first auto dealership heist. Like, make it count, man. Drive away in something nice that you can't afford yourself. <laughs> something with leather interior and beautiful air conditioning. Uh, something that, dry, that goes very fast. You want something that accelerates because you know you're going to have to you know, flee from the police at some point. So the police responded to a burglary, re- burglary report at the LG Auto Sales located in Boynton Beach where the suspect, Gino Puglisi, age 52, allegedly stole property estimated to be worth $36,000. Well, that's got to be more than the truck. What else did he take? Puglisi made off with a 45-inch Samsung TV, two Dell laptops, and $3,000 worth of wrenches, screwdrivers, and pliers, along with the 60 sets of keys and the truck. So this was all taken from the dealership, I assume. Police spotted the stolen truck, and the uh, officer allegedly tried to flag down Puglisi. This is just silly behavior when you're trying to flag down crazy Floridians. Oh, that, like that's going to work? You're in Florida. These people are on crazy drugs. They're in a mindset that you cannot reason with, and you're going to flag them down? When has that worked in Florida? Flag them down? No. Police say that the pursuit ensued until it was called off as Puglisi continued at a very high rate of speed. In his 2005 Sierra, I still don't understand why he drove off in this. I mean, sure, there's room back there to put the stolen laptops and the flat screen, but you know, you could have gotten yourself a you know brand new SUV and had the same sort of room in the back to keep all your stolen goods as well, Puglisi. The 52-year-old man crashed the truck into an office building. Oh boy! Of course, he fled the scene. He was taken into custody by the police after he was found. Get this. Pretending to be grilling on a porch at a nearby apartment. That was his <laughs> That was his plan afterward. <laughs> the police are about to arrest me. What can I do? Hey, I see a barbecue on a porch. Let me just pretend to grill, although I have no meats on me. What did you put the laptop on the grill? What did you do, Puglisi? <laughs> did you actually light it and get it going? And then catch a squirrel nearby and throw it on there? Like, what did you do to pretend that you were grilling? Did you walk into the apartment and... Come out with some meats. <laughs> How does one pretend to grill without any food? That's what I want to know. He's just pantomiming the grilling, just whipping out his acting skills. If I look like I'm grilling, they'll leave me alone. <laughs> I just love this. This is a desperate man here. It says here, Puglisi refused to talk to the arriving officers about the incident. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it, I'm making some invisible chicken here, sir, as you can see. I'm feeding my invisible family. <laughs> this is this is where I live, although I don't know the address. <laughs> this is my porch. I'm grilling. I don't know anything about stolen goods in a 2005 GMC Sierra. No idea what you're talking about. What keys in my pockets? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> this is what I'm grilling. I'm grilling up some keys. You never had. <laughs> have you ever had barbecued keys, sir? <laughs> it's the de- it's delicious. It's free range keys. I'm about to eat. <laughs> Gluten free keys. I'm grilling up, guys. <laughs> Oh, I just love it. I love that he just pulled up on someone's porch. <laughs> Nothing to see here, guys. Why don't you just meditate under a banana tree at that point and say you're a Buddhist? I don't know what you're talking about. As you can see, I'm meditating. I'm just... A naked Boston lady drove a golf cart through a police standoff in Florida. Love it when my Bostonians get involved in shenanigans in Florida. In the middle of an intense police standoff, a 28-year-old Boston lady was arrested after driving a golf cart right onto the crime scene, and she is naked. She's naked driving the golf cart onto the crime scene. She doesn't apparently see a bunch of police with guns drawn. She's, I'm guessing she's been uh, imbibing in some intoxicants. But let's find out a little more information. You know my Boston ladies love to throw them down. You guys know that? Oh, Give me Bacardi. Rounds of Bacardi. Shots of Bacardi. That's wicked good Bacardi. 
Uh, at approximately 8 p.m., deputies responded to an area in Dunedin, Florida, after being dispatched to a report of three suspicious male subjects in the neighborhood. Yeah, this suspicious male subjects in every neighborhood in Florida. The deputies arrived, make contact with the male subjects. One of the subjects, some 18-year-old, fled from the deputies. He just runs off. At some point while running away, uh, the 18-year-old Floridian fired his gun and shot himself in the right thigh. (laughs) This is just the beginning of the story, guys. It gets better. Oh, boy. The deputies chased the 18-year-old gunman onto a roof and uh, let everybody know he was armed with a gun. He was actually pointing it toward the deputies from the roof. They're surrounding him on the ground, and then came the naked lady, (laughs) the naked Bostonian, star of the show. Jessica Elizabeth Smith, 28, of Boston, Massachusetts, who had absolutely nothing to do with the intense standoff. She drove naked on a golf cart into the crime scene and toward the house where the gunman was located. She completely ignored the deputy's commands to leave the scene in the golf cart. They told her to drive the hell away. They told her, it's wicked dangerous what you're doing. You need to get out of here. Uh, I wonder if she knew the guy. She's just coming in to save the gunman? I'm coming, honey, in my golf cart. We're going to get away from these police at 18 miles per hour. (laughs) Feel feel free to hit the bottle of Bacardi I got. You want a parliament? According to the affidavit, this uh, Smith from Boston, our Boston beauty, uh, she had a distinct odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from her person. This This is what it says in the affidavit. Coming from her person. And, you know, physiologically speaking that is accurate because when you drink a lot of booze it actually comes comes right out it oozes out of your pores you, your skin will even smell like booze especially if you drink like a bostonian if you drink like a fish guy it also says in addition to s- smelling like alcohol smith was completely nude <laughs> how do you end up nude on a golf cart i'm just wondering what kind of fun golfing golf outing was she on was this uh, all those side bets on the course that she lost. Yeah, she just, they're, they're playing for their clothes, apparently. The deputies were able to reach her, arrest her. They charged her with resisting an officer. And it says in the report, uh, she had no connection to the armed suspect whatsoever. <laughs> so how she ended up on the scene, this is just, I mean, this is like the apex of Florida behavior where various crimes just conjoin. <laughs> we got to we got a standoff, some shooting, and then a lady uh, naked on a golf cart, all messed up on who knows what arrives. It's just, you know, the meetings of all the tomfoolery, they just, they just all meet in Florida, sometimes right on the same piece of property. It's unbelievable. You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. Too difficult. No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. A Florida man stole a miniature goat. The goat came home drunk. Billy the Kidder is the name of this miniature goat who lives in the Florida Keys. Good life. Billy the Kidder, just chilling, drinking Corona on the seaside resorts of the Florida Keys, I'm sure. Billy isn't used to very much excitement, though. Just kind of lives a very chill life. His interests include mowing yards and enjoying air conditioning. Yeah, he's a Floridian goat. On Thursday, the four-year-old goat, who's about knee-high, went on quite an adventure. A Florida Keys man stole Billy the goat from a woman's yard and took him for a spin around the area. At 5 o'clock, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office received a report of a man passed out next to a bicycle. Uh, Tied to the bicycle was a goat. (laughs) Billy the goat. Here's a quote from the deputy, Tom, who has a very... Just a very good outlook on the whole situation. Well, I started laughing when they called me. <laughs> oh, man, I had to double check that I heard it right. Yeah. We show up here, and this guy, you know, we find a small goat tethered to the bike. And, uh, the bike and the goat are next to a sleeping man on the grass. 
You know, we know this guy. He's one of our local homeless drunks, I tell you. <laughs> now, apparently no arrests were made because the owner of the goat, Cindy, didn't want to press charges on this homeless drunk. She just wanted Billy the goat back. Uh, she likes to call him Billy Bob Thornton, apparently. Oh, I like them french fried taters. Oh, I want them french fried taters. Now, the uh, Monroe County Fire Rescue also was on the scene, but said that the man refused services from them. He's like, no, I'm fine. God, this is my normal state. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I pass out on the grass all the time with various wildlife that I seem to pick up when I'm blacked out drunk. What is it this time, a goat? Wow, <laughs> that one took some effort. I'm impressed with myself. I'm glad it's not another alligator. Oh, boy, almost lost a foot that last time. Now, the sheriff's office released the man. Um, the, um, the, uh, the deputy says here he watched the goat theft suspect take off on his bicycle. They gave him his bike back. Uh, the goat owner's friend brought Billy the goat back home to enjoy his grass and the air conditioning. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now, the story doesn't end there. Cindy claims that Billy the goat came home rather drunk. Yes, very inebriated. She says, well, his eyes were so dilated yesterday, I noticed he didn't look normal at all. He seemed inebriated. He, he was very erratic. <laughs> Poor Billy. Comes home wasted. Sounds like Billy had a good time. Just took him to a bachelor party. Nothing to see here. But, oh, it gets even deeper because after some phone calls were made by Cindy, she found out that her goat, Billy, her precious goat, was used by several men as a prop for panhandling. <laughs> All day and night, they were panhandling with Goat, Billy the Goat, getting him drunk, making some money with him. She says, well, they were all over town, it turns out, with my goat. And they made a crap load of money off of Billy as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just, hey, guys, we need to make a little cash, you know. Just... By ourselves, it just doesn't seem to work out. I can't sing anymore. <laughs> I don't have the same voice that I used to. What do you got there, Jimmy? C Jimmy, can you dance? Can you show us a dance? Ah, Jimmy ain't got it. He can't even do the moonwalk anymore like he could in 1988. Remember those days, guys? Uh, never fear. I know a goat. <laughs> I know a lady with a goat. We can take him panhandling. People love this goat. We're going to make a killing. Enough to even get the goat drunk. Yay! Hello. Hey, it's Jonesy. How are you? I hope you're having a nice weekend or you had one. Or you're about to have one. I always say that. Because it's true. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know what time it is for you. If you sent me some Florida stories, by the way, I want to give you a, a virtual hug somehow. I don't know how to do that, but imagine me hugging you and kissing your earlobe. Creepy! Don't imagine such things, guys. Don't. All right? It'll only get you in trouble. And it'll only get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, what I want to say is I appreciate all of you. I really do want to kiss all of your earlobes. I really do. <laughs> I think it's a great way to spend time with a fan of Weird AF News. Just kissing your earlobe. <laughs> I don't care if you even... What, whatever you are. Whatever you smell like. Even if you don't have earlobes, I'll make it work. What's better than a nice little earlobe suck? Guys, this is going off the rails right here. Uh, I just want to let you know that I... Uh, I just really appreciate you joining me. You could spend your weekend anyway. You know, there's a million podcasts out there, but you chose this one. You chose to listen to a stranger, a weirdo in a closet recording this. How weird. How bizarre. What does my life come to? I don't know. What's going on? I have no clue. I'm looking. I'm just trying to take it day by day, guys, okay? I'm just trying to stay caffeinated and out of prison. That's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, if you sent me stories, by the way, did I already thank you? Thank you again. If you have stories you want to send over the weekend, they, can, they don't have to be Florida-related. It can be from wherever. It's uh, funnyjones at gmail.com. That's the place. You can also uh, send them to me on Instagram at funnyjones or tweet them to me at funnyjones as well. And then uh, you can send them through the website weirdafnews.com. That's a place. That's a place. It exists. Yeah. I paid for it through the Patreon. You guys know about that? Yeah, I got a Patreon. It's a place where if you want to support the show, you can go and give a couple bucks to Jonesy per month. You can like It's like buying me a half a cup of coffee at these Los Angeles coffee prices. Patreon.com slash weirdafnews. See photos of my earlobes. I upload photos of my earlobes all the time. <laughs> no. What is wrong with me? Uh, I need this weekend. I really do. Okay. Um, man, it's hot in this closet. This is what's happening. I think my brain is frying. I need the beach. Um. I ended up at the beach late last night, and it was started raining. It's like, 
I haven't been to the beach in months. I finally go. It just starts raining on me. I said, what the hell, man? What, what, what is the universe trying to tell me? I just can't have what I want. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what else is there to say? I don't know. Uh, join the Patreon and uh, kiss a loved one. <laughs>